St. Paul says, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. It's kind of a statement, if you will, with uh, John passing so close to his beloved wife. They were so close. They meant so much to one another. It was kind of like one went on a vacation just a little early before the other one did. And so that, as I said, see you later last week, they are realizing that together today. I've known them for 10 years. When they couldn't come to church any longer, I'd go out to the house farm. And they would always share and help me at the light. They enjoyed watching Worship Anew when they couldn't come to church. And that was very important to them. As a matter of fact, they were the main reason that the church has started that, getting it on the program here in this area. And so um, I am forever thankful that they kind of push that my way to get people to do that. But like I said before, the two of them were so close together and um, they knew, uh, they shared so many things together. And something that they shared was what I just read to you in the text. Being baptized into Christ. Being baptized into his death and baptized into his resurrection. And so for the rest of us, although the see you later is not going to be, hopefully, God willing, not in six days, but it is going to come. It's going to come for all of us when we get to meet our Savior face to face and we get to see the saints who have gone before us, John and Elaine. And God bless you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your three-day rest in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, promising resurrection to our mortal bodies. Bless this grave of our body, of, of the body of our brother, that he may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory when he will see you face to face in the splendor of the eternal God. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there will be my servant also. If anyone serves me, 
the Father will honor him. The Apostle Paul writes, So it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown perishable will be raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. Thus it is written, the first man, Adam, being a living being, the last Adam became a life-giving spirit. But it is not the spiritual that is first, but the natural, and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are of dust. And as is the man of heaven, so also are those who are of heaven. Just as we have, just as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the man in heaven. God has made us his people through our baptism into Christ, living together in trust and hope we confess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. My fingers are not cooperating. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We now commit the body of our brother John to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord who will change our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body by the power that enables him to subdue all things to himself. May God the Father who created this body, may God the Son who by his blood redeemed this body, may God the Holy Spirit who by baptism sanctified this body to be his temple, keep these remains until the day of resurrection of all flesh. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting in His promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Almighty God, by the death of your Son, Jesus Christ, you destroyed death. By his rest in the tomb, you sanctified the graves of your saints. And by his bodily resurrection, you brought life and immortality to light, so that all who die in him abide in peace and hope. Receive our thanks for the victory over death and the grave he won for us. Keep us in an everlasting communion with all who wait for him on earth and, all, and with all in heaven who are with him. For he is the resurrection and the life, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen, he is indeed. risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us go forth in peace in the name of the Lord. Amen. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.